So this is the Tavern Brawl where you can select a secondary class to go with your starting hero. Uh, kind of like this idea of multi-classing in Hearthstone. I think it creates some interesting opportunities. Um, let's see, I'm going against a warrior. So Divine Shield is not going to be too useful. Doubt he's going to be running the Murloc, but at least it's a one drop. Quick Shot could maybe eliminate Acolyte of Pain, so we'll keep that. And ideally I'd like to get um, Druid. I think that would be a good combo with uh, Hunter. Uh, there'd be a lot of beast synergy with those cards. Um, Acid Maw is kind of an interesting card to have, so a Warrior Warlock. That'll be interesting, and okay, so we have Paladin, Rogue, and Warlock. Um, let's be a Hunter Rogue. And Unearth Raptor. Okay, so could potentially copy this uh, Web Spinner effect. Or maybe another Death Rattle card if I get one. Not a lot of great options here in terms of starting hand, but see what else comes along. So this has been a really interesting tavern brawl because I think there's some really fun combinations that you can get with having the two uh, heroes combined. Um, they don't let you construct a deck with combined heroes. I think that would get a little out of hand. People would figure out what are the best combos, and then you would just run into those decks over and over again <clears throat> in the Brawl. At least this way it's randomized, and so each game's a little bit different. So our Warriors being very thoughtful about their first play. Just in general, don't know if this person's doing it uh, on purpose, but if you rope or use all the time allotted uh, for each turn that you have and you do that routinely, then that's not a good thing. Don't do that. It's incredibly annoying. And maybe the person just left. So maybe they got disconnected and we're going to get a free win here. Which would be unfortunate, but a win's a win, I suppose. And we'll just try to finish this game off here. And that'll do it. So you got to see a little bit of some interaction with some rogue and some hunter cards. Well played, I suppose. So let's try that again. I think this would be a really interesting game mode for um, Blizzard to implement full-time. Um, this idea of multi-classing, I, I think there's just a lot of possibilities there. Or maybe making it an <clears throat> uh, option in Wild um, would be kind of cool. So let's see, starting off with a couple of Fiery Bats. Getting this Blinktron later on uh, would be nice. Um, I think I'm going to keep both Fiery Bats. I'm going to get rid of the Divine Shield, see if I can get something else that's a lower cost card. And that's the opposite of what I wanted to have happen. So 
So a priest paladin. Okay, so warrior, mage, and druid. So here's the druid um, that I wanted to pick to hopefully get some, some beast synergy. Let's see. Could... I'm just gonna choose the hero power. Um, saving the coin for probably could throw out Blingtron. Now here's the beast synergy I'm talking about. So give a uh, plus two plus two, which will allow me to clear this hobgoblin. Or I could just go face. Let's see. Yeah, I think Scenarius, okay. And I'll play with a fiery bat. The nice thing about getting this to four health is that it really limits some of the priest tools. Um, they're not able to remove it with Shadow Word, Pain of Shadow Word Death. Give a friendly beast plus two attack and immunity. Hmm. I think what I'll do is play this cult master. Go into that. Draw a card. There's that Silver Moon Guardian that I had gotten rid of to begin with. And see if he plays a Holy Nova. Dragon Consort, fair enough. Here again is some of that, um, let's get rid of this. And we'll throw this Divine Shield out there. That way if it, if he does play Holy Nova, this guy still sticks around. Light Bomb, okay, there's the other removal. Play that. What about hero power in there? Oh, and they saw the writing on the wall. So there's some of that uh, good hunter druid combos. And let's for for giggles see if we can go with a different hero. So let's try mage. Now, Mage is the only hero that I've gotten to 500 wins with, so I haven't been playing Mage nearly as much uh, in Ranked, because uh, I'm trying to get an another hero to 500 wins. Uh, the closest, I think, is Paladin. I think I'm halfway there with Paladin. Um, probably the next closest is Hunter. I just got over 100, 100 with Hunter. Okay, we have um, Valley of Doomsayer. Um, this Goblin Blast Mage I'm going to hang on to in case I get another mech. Yeesh, you got a not great uh, mulligan starting. So I've played against some Warrior 
mages or wait mage warriors that have been kind of interesting so let's see what we get here so there's the warrior shaman could be kind of fun um we do mage warrior and we're just gonna have to pass here because there's not much we can do these next couple of turns we could get behind pretty quickly um, I could play that later in combination with Fen Creeper All I can do is ping this and probably destroy it next turn. I wonder if you throw out an effigy. No, oh, okay. Well, at least next turn I can start to play something. See if he has mirror. Nope, no mirror entity. These cards are oh, so couldn't target that because I forgot about this aura. I never. It's an interesting thing with Tavern Brawl. You uh, end up playing against some minions that you're not used to seeing on ladder, so. Um, yeah, we might have to just throw out Fen Creeper here. Actually, I like that play. That takes away that big threat. He still can't clear it with hero power. Could potentially take out two minions. Um, or he could implosion it. Yeah. That's okay. Mako, okay, we can play this star on here. Get some pretty nice value given we got like seven cards in our hand. And um, it's going to be forced to remove that probably with a fireball or some type of spell I'm guessing polymorph is always a possibility well he's going to clear all his men okay Now we got some business here, so we could no control secret. Don't close anything. I still haven't triggered that secret. I wonder if it's ice armor or something like that. Don't want to give my opponent two bananas at this point.
like that. Wondering if the secret is even vaporize. Again, I don't you don't see vaporize too often in constructed these days. Never did get any mechs to trigger the Goblin Blast Mage. Can't, might, might. It's one of the hard things about playing in the Tavern Brawl is that you just never know what's in your deck. I guess if you run one of those deck trackers, it would show up here. Um, but that, I feel like, is pretty much cheating. Oh, I forgot about Vaporize. I wanted to throw this guy first. That was a mistake. That was a major mistake. I said last time that that could have been a Vaporize. And I didn't stop to think. Always talk out loud when you're playing the game. Make sure you're positive you want to do what you're about to do. Okay. What do I want to do here? Uh, I don't want to give him any spells. I don't want to go many bananas. Oh, I'll definitely take some armor though, that'll be nice. So yeah, making that vaporize mistake is probably going to be a thing that cost me this game, but we'll see. I definitely got to get rid of that as soon as possible. That's not good. I don't want him to draw that many cards. Let's see, let's think about this. If I kill this, draw three cards, I might get a way to deal with that. It's worth a try. Right, we're getting closer to being able to deal with this.
hanging on by a very, very, very slim thread. Wow, they quit. Okay. Well, that's three wins in a row. That one was a little shady because, one, I thought they were in fairly good condition there. Uh, we definitely made a mistake with walking right into that vaporize, but I uh, did enough things there to stall them, slow them down. Got fortunate with the armor, hero power with the Renounced Darkness, and... Yeah, so um, definitely check out this week's Tavern Brawl with uh, multi-class options. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you're going to end up playing against some cards that you don't see that much, certainly cards in combination that you never see. And um, yeah, I think it'll make you a better player just by uh, thinking outside the box, so to speak, of the decks that you use most often in uh, Constructed. So uh, have at it. Take care. You know what, just for fun, let's open up a pack, see if we get anything good. 250, I can afford to get a pack, why not? And let's see, I don't have my uh, dice to roll, but go here. Alright, start off good. Alright, a couple rares. A legendary. Another rare, give me an epic. Oh, got greedy. Lady Cultist, a Golden Cult Sorcerer, all right, Doomcaller, got one of those, Twilight Dementor, and let's see a Legendary, very exciting. The Ascended, it's actually a Legendary I already have when I opened up over 120 packs, uh, he, was one of the, he was one of the few that I got, but... That's awesome. More dust. Um, so bonus uh, pack opening with a legendary. Three wins, a legendary. I'd say it's a good night. I'm going to sign off now and uh, end on a high note. Take care.